tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you I'll miss you if you go So I more or less drove to this parking lot, so I know sort of what it looks like. It's a quite popular place to go touring. The cool thing with the pyramid mm. that we looked at is that it's like this big pyramid and it looks kind of nice. Well, the other thing is we've got two, like if we're going to ski today and tomorrow, yeah, we can do two different routes as well. So Okay, let's have a look at um, the maps. Because where we're going up now is not really a mountain pass, it's just up a valley where yeah. the road then ends. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, I think that's, it's the shorter one because the sooner we can get hiking, it's already light, the better. That's a fair point because we could get started super early tomorrow if we want to. Good, yeah. it's a plan. Let's do it. Sounds good, man. Uh, Sentish Horn, here we go. Pretty bad ones today. Look at that moon. Rain is a good thing on Spotify. This is a good country song. Are you ready? Rain is a good thing by Luke Bryan. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, so this corona thing happened, or is it still happening, um, which led to they shut down every single ski resort in Switzerland, and right now I'm supposed to run a camp. I ended up having to refund everyone for not having to do it, they chose to do. Um, yeah, that's a bit shit. But right now we're trying to do van life ski tour. So right now we're on our way towards Davos, we're gonna drive up this valley there and we're gonna do about a three hour hike and a thousand vertical meters to this mountain that looks cool. Mm. We're not ready to stop skiing yet. Um, the snow conditions are still pretty good. Uh, we can find some um, springy corn slash to ski, hopefully. So, yeah, we want to ski some more. There is a chance that Switzerland, like Italy, is going to go full lockdown where we are only allowed to be at home or go food shopping. Like, it puts a lot in perspective as well that what we do really is quite fortunate that we could spend our days in the mountains skiing every day, really. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I, I mean, we, we, we're not really complaining, but obviously we're frustrated that the hill is closed and we can't ski, but really, in the grand scheme of things, that is a minor problem to have yeah. compared to a lot of people and how this will affect them. So, it's a good, good little I reminder. Thought, I just, uh, there's not a lot of space for a No, car. not really. Made it. It's now 8 o'clock. Get our skins and stuff on and start hiking here. A little bit chilly. <laughs> oh no. Well, soon we'll be, soon we'll be hiking. Sweating. Yeah. But I think we're in for a treat. Ooh, it's satisfying. <laughs> ba -ba. Ba -ba. Like, it's been an intense winter. I haven't had much time to enjoy myself. Let's do it. Lead on, sir. <laughs> oh, quite sweaty. Oh, I see those We've done uh, 268 meters. That's cool. Yeah. And that's quite a lot for. And 1.9 kilometers. What time did we start walking? Uh, we started 50 minutes ago. 50. 50. So we are an hour in. Quite exactly on the average what people usually do: yeah. 300 an hour. Yeah. And uh, but it's a. Uh, it doesn't feel like we've been walking for an hour though, it went fast the first hour here. Yeah, like I think we both really, really needed 
to go out in the mountains. Get some stretching on legs, fresh air. Yeah, like I need it so bad. Beautiful walk. What's in your lunchbox? Mandarin, get your vitamins, an apple, and some nuts. Oh, and berry delight. Berry delight. Feast. All the goodness. Fruit and nuts, it's all you really need, hey? I got nuts, one banana, and then we got a smoked salmon. Holy shit, that's fancy. Okay, you win. It has some uh, markings, so it's quality salmon. And then lastly, every ski tour needs Toblerone. a Toblerone. Mm. Toblerone, if you're watching, I'd like you to sponsor the channel. So we're just setting up for another drone shot here. Down at the bottom. Um, found this some cool ridge thing. We're gonna try and do a follow. Yeah, we're just gonna grab a drone out here and try and get one more. It's a good drone shot. making a little porch. Why don't you just tell me about your season, a brief overview of how the winter's been for you. Oh, my season this year has been kind of intense as usual. A little bit less intense than usual. Got a little bit better work-life balance, but still, I'm lucky if I get in like one day every two weeks to ski for myself. But I shouldn't complain, like uh, any day, in the winter I do ski many days and all of them are kind of good because I'm either making videos that I really enjoy making or I'm like teaching people in reality at camps so it's pretty good. Do you feel like it's been a pretty smooth winter? It hasn't been too stressful? Or? It's been pretty smooth but yet it's been really stressful. I suffer from like low energy and I get sick easily so I'm like yeah I work life balance is a little out of whack but I try to look after myself and train and eat well whatever that entails and uh, yeah try to get some balance in but it's hard it's really hard usually my focus ends up being a bit on spring park shred um, I feel like I'm too old for that 31 now nah no way not too old for that I just didn't get to do it so much this spring, so uh, that's fine. I'd uh, just go touring and uh, maybe build some jump, or I don't know. I don't care. I just, I'm really enjoying myself right now, despite the stresses of the other couple of weeks. It's all good now. So many say that a stomp it is all freestyle, but I sort of disagree. Right? These days it's more or less one third freestyle, one third ski technique, and one third free ride. But uh, I only do camps right now in freestyle. Thinking about doing the other two types of skiing in the future, but I don't get tired of park skiing at all. I just gotta be in the right frame of mind with the right people 
and I freaking love it. But I have to push myself because I'm I got a kind of competent at uh, freestyle skiing, and for me to like get in the zone, I like really have to try some difficult tricks and uh, things I've never done before. And then, whoa, it's such a good time! Very grateful, young Jens, for allowing me to make a living teaching people how to ski in this kind of unique way. I love it. Your shirt, you're the captain. You're on fridge, dude. <laughs> I'll put this on me. Not my fridge. It's fine. We got a cheeky fridge problem. Keeps opening. <sighs> we first got the lighters, they didn't want to stay up here. I blame that on the Avalanche book. It's rather safe than sorry. Could stay I think I'm going to start blaming your driving, Jens. No. I drive like a smooth truck driver. Get in. You get in too. And then you too. Up. Up. So, we were in Davos, ish. And now we're going up the Juliet Pass, um, which is the pass you have to drive to get to St. Moritz. Um, the road goes pretty high, a bit over 2,000 meters. And from there, we hope to either ski tour up on the sunny side or the dark side, um, depending on if we want to have cold snow or slushy snow. I don't know which one I prefer right now. It's, yeah, I got spring vibes, you know? Tomorrow morning, bright and early. Find a spot to camp tonight. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Can I film some food. Film on. I got a little bit of green in it. It looks slightly prettier. Let's go grab some of that raw. Mm. Sleepy looking yams. Alright, so let's talk through the plan then, Jens. Mm-hmm. So it's east. East, okay. To the northeast. Northeast east. east. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Let's uh, see if we can see it through the window here. Maybe pop well, up just that one up there. Yeah. That's the one. That could be a fun little uh Bundle adventure, eh? Not so sure if it's the best idea ever, but looks kind of exciting, and we have plan B's and C's that's 
just keep walking up the valley on some flattish mountain yeah. and then enjoy some cruisy hopefully a bit slushy terms in a bit yeah so i mean it's quite hard to tell from down here until we're up there we won't really be able to make a, a good call so yeah we just have to keep checking in as we're going and see how things look but i think i'm gonna start with this one because i'll be shivering by the time i get the skin so yeah no, it's good my be bold start cold be bold start cold indeed Dirty. We're a little sleepy today, so we're gonna do something slightly easier than yesterday. So like how how many meters did we say again? 500? 500. I yeah, so pretty chill. Like, but the view out there could be incredible. Yeah, I think so. So similar to yesterday, there is quite a lot of evidence of uh, <clears throat> recent slides on these slopes, particularly the more south-facing slopes. Um, but they're not really full slides. They look more to be like where a ball of snow has rolled down and it's just tumbled and accumulated. So I think we're feeling pretty confident that the conditions will be safe still. Um, but yeah, still going with the plan B, C, D, E, F, just to be safe. I'm hot already. We walked 50 meters. <laughs> Shit. Didn't Classic. learn anything from yesterday. Well, we did do that, but <laughs> it's just, because I was way colder starting today, but still not cold enough. Yeah. I really wonder if we'll manage to get to our sort of main objective, mm. if we will get there early enough that we think it's safe. Yeah. Because we sort of want the sun to soften up the snow a bit. Uh, it should have a pretty icy base, so it's like this nice spring conditions. But we also don't want it to soften up too much, so it's dangerous again. So we'll see. Go on then, show us ski turning tricks. <laughs> Nose grab. Uh, uh, let's imagine this is a Spitzkurve. Elegant. Was it cool? Yeah, very cool. Cool. I'm a little bit concerned with sharks high up. Yeah. Looks a little bit rocky. I feel like we actually can't get to the line we want to do. We thought we could follow this rock band or the ridge to safely get to it. As we see here, um, just above us here, we got a shit ton of uh, yeah, wind snow on it. and Pretty sunbaked too. It's starting to get a little late. Even if I'm not too scared of that line, I am scared of this because if anything would slide here, we would go down this rock band of kind of cool couloirs and doing that against your will would probably be, be deadly. I have a bad tummy feeling. What about you, Rory? I also have that feeling in my stomach. It kind of looks okay, but I, I hate to go against that feeling. Let's have a look here. Yeah. And then maybe backtrack. Sounds good. But the snow here is nice though, kind of. I'm happy for the longevity of us that we didn't do that. I'm planning on doing this until I'm like a hundred. Mm. And um, taking that would uh, shorten my life expectancy with possibly a year. <laughs> so basically I think it would have been fine, but not fine enough to be certain. So mm. I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of this chill run we have all the way back to the car. It's gonna be wonderful. And I got the Oh, you legend, Tobaron. I forgot about that. I'm looking forward to some of that. And I also got the top uh, sausage, like pretty fancy sausage slash salami.
All right, we're gonna skid a chicken line now with uh, hopefully cold snow still. Hyper, hey, you are just hyper. What's that? What's that? Get it. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at this. Hopefully, no one was involved. We're so far from where anyone was skiing today. Getting a signal here 41 meters, it's intermittent. Uh, it's dropping in and out, but it's saying 41 meters from me directly forward. There are no ski tracks in at the top, so I'm thinking it's probably just a ghost signal. Jan said he picked up something similar, but his has dropped out too. Yeah, not getting anything, luckily. So we're pretty confident there's no one here. Um, it's very unlikely where it slid that there would be anyone here. Uh, so more of a check just to be safe, but yeah, fully to the base there, wet slide. I would say the crown is 15 meters long a meter deep and the result of that is this uh, I mean massive build up of cookies here that realistically is probably a couple meters deep at its deepest point that's kind of bone breaking it's very heavy big clumps of snow successful absolutely successful now I could need to do this again very soon. Body is kind of tired. The brain is a little bit tired too. But, but tomorrow you're going to wake up ready for a week of work, eh? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Wake up ready to go into the office. And um, I'm looking forward to that too. Because we got some cool things to do. Mm -hmm. We got the video to make. Got some emailing to do. Wow, exciting. Plan maybe some other video. Well, let us know if you guys enjoyed this little video. I um, I know that me and Rory sure enjoyed making it. Because, can we even call this work? No. <laughs> no we're pretty lucky.